Celebrity, true or false? You can't handle the truth. First item up for bids is that um, you were up for the role of Joey Gladstone in Full House that went to Dave Coulier. Is that true or false? False. That is false. See, yeah. that, there's, no, there's not even a germ of truth to something like that. Not even a germ. And Dave Coulier, I, I, he's back in Detroit. He's got a house in Detroit now. I, he's, we're, good, we're good friends, and okay. we can pass for not only brothers, but twins. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speaking of passing for brothers, uh, the movie Dumb and Dumber, the studio did not want you for it, but Jim Carrey did. So they lowballed you an offer thinking you would say no, but you took it. Is that true or false? True. What did you like about that movie? What you Jim. made you, Jim? Jim Carrey. He had Ace Ventura had been out, mm -hmm. big hit, and he had shot Mask, and it hadn't been released yet when we mm -hmm. started shooting. So I, I wanted to, I wanted to go into comedy. I've been doing drama, and I was, it was kind, of, I was kind of spinning my wheels, and, and so I, I said, let me do. The, I, I went up to L.A. and chased some jobs, and Dumb and Dumber is one of them. Auditioned, I went back for a callback. Read with Jim. And Jim and the Farrelly brothers wanted me, and the studio wanted, you know, a comedian, basically. And so mm -hmm. they gave me the first week to shoot, and where we shot a lot of my stuff, the snowball in the head, the tongue on the pole, the skis inside the ski lodge, you know, you know, Harry Dunn scenes. And uh, they cut them together on the end of the first week, and they liked what they saw, and I got to stay. And is it true that your your representation thought you were nuts for wanting to do that as well? That's another. Yeah, aspect. They, they, they thought it was a huge mistake and we're not we're going to start. It was an intervention the night before I was supposed to fly out to L.A. to do Dumb and Dumber. Uh, we're we're going to stop this. Uh, this is not who you are. Uh, you're a serious actor and this will ruin your career. And I, I, I hate to tell you, Jeff, but um, he's going to act you off the screen. So I, you know, uh, I said, well, one, thanks for the support Two, um He's not in the he's not in the snowball in the head scene. He's not on the tongue in the pole scene, and he's not in the toilet scene. So those are all mine. So unless they cut those out of the movie, I'm gonna score. And then the next trick was I already was to let Jim lead. You know Jim is gonna be Jim, and you want Jim to be Jim. You want all of that. So don't compete with that. Be the puppy on the leash. Let him jerk the leash. And that put me on a half second delay, which allowed me to play an IQ of eight. <laughs> because Jim, as Lloyd, he would go, Harry. And I'd go, what? You know, it's just like you're on a half second because you're just, you know, your brain doesn't work that fast when he calls your name. So uh, that then we were in. We were gold. And, uh, and Jim's a friend to this day. I love the guy. Now, love so to this day. To this very day, Jim Carrey's a friend of yours. I love that. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, last couple of weeks I've been in communication. Yeah, that's, that's great. All right, I've got a couple more for you here. Um, you did not think speed would be successful during filming, but once you saw the final cut, you were you were in on on speed, thinking that this was going to work out. That film, speed, uh, 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 you know, yeah, yes, probably true. Yes, okay. true. What yeah. was Den what was Den I mean shoot you we we all know about terms of endearment with with Nicholson what was Dennis Hopper like were you around him were you in any scenes with uh, he him was or? great he was very nice uh picking up a check uh <laughs> as, as I was and and I mean it's Keanu and a Sandra Bullock in a bus and you're back at headquarters going what's going on you know that you know it's not this is not a career move this is I need a job move and the first, the, the script, they, and I, it was, I need a job. And they said, well, there's this movie called Speed. And they sent me the script and I died on page 22 in the elevator shaft. I didn't even get out of the elevator shaft. And I said, look, the career's in trouble, but it's not in that much trouble. Pass. And they go, well, 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 well hang on. There's a new draft coming and you die later. So that's, yeah, okay, page 88. And then, you know, I go into the house and the house blows up. Well, right outside our studio is the 105 freeway, and I think about speed every single time I leave the Rich Eisen oh Show God. studio because yeah. they that shut was, down the freeway. That, that, that wasn't even open yet, right? The bus. Wasn't that freeway? That wasn't. I don't even think that freeway was open yet. That was the first ever usage of the 105 freeway. That's probably true. It was probably just before it opened, and you know, it was empty, and we, got, Keanu, got to drive the bus on it. Yeah. Last one for you. You were playing Keith Olbermann uh, as the role of. Will McAvoy um, in the great show um, Newsroom. Yes, true or false? No. 
you're an A. False. Keith thinks that. Keith, Keith actually told me we were at Stephen Colbert's final show yeah. uh, on Comedy Central. And there's Keith Olbermann. And he comes up to me. He goes, you're playing me, aren't you? I said, Keith, God bless you. But no, no. <laughs> I mean, maybe Sorkin used you. I don't know. But we never talked about it. He never said, by the way, you're doing Keith. I, no, it was never brought up. If anything, I did a couple of Brian Williams moves. Which Brian one? has a thing where he puts the elbow down and his other arm goes straight out. And he kind of leans. That was my one thing. Everything else was made up. It was news to me that, that Keith was so attached to it. I got to be honest with you. I've, I worked with Keith for, for many a moon back in my sports center days. You, you, it did seem on occasion like there were some KO moments on that front. But now that you mentioned the anchor lean of, Brian Williams, I mean, that is like a geographic, perfect sort of right triangle that he creates right. with his body and the rest of his. It's for you. Somebody, someone should paint it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.